Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kendra. This is the weekly watch list and today we are going to react to finally Invincible Season 2, Episodes 1 and 2. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra. Okay, so today we're finally getting back to something that I started a while ago. It's been delayed and I'm so sorry. Here's why. Okay, so I did actually react to episodes one and two, but I lost my footage. I lost my footage. I lost my footage. It can't be recovered. So here I am again. I waited so that it would be, you know, semi fresh in my memory. Uh, so that I can kick off Invincible Season 2 all over again. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna react to the first two episodes again. I've seen them already, but it's been at least two months since I've seen these episodes. And then I'm just gonna continue on with the season as if nothing happened. I'll go three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we will complete Invincible Season 2 finally. <laughs> I really loved Season 1 of Invincible, so I'm really looking forward to this. And I hope you guys are too. I'm not gonna keep you any longer. Yeah, let's get to it. And if you guys wanna check out my Adam Eve origin story, that will be up at the end of this video and probably linked down below in the description somewhere. What the hell is that? Oh, somebody's fighting. Oh! <laughs> I've been hit harder before. So this mark, terrifying. Ooh. What's that guy's name again? Eternal? Dr. Eternal or something like that? Mr. Eternal? Try to see why can't you trust me? Ooh. Did. He's very good with the door. Yeah. Oh, Omni Man. It is so disconcerting to have such an evil character, in my opinion. I cannot stand Omni Man. Be voiced by such a beloved voice actor. Oh. Mortal your way out of that. Immortal, yeah. The immortal lived for thousands of years, trying to make this planet better for all its people. I thought he'd see the truth, like you did. No bueno. I, think I don't like it. This away. I don't like it. But we must be close. People of Earth, we know. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. His sort of like nonchalant from Empire now. bad guy thing no is so scary. No one dies from cancer and no one ever messes with Earth again. Don't forget, I'm invincible. Interesting that they didn't do the... We know. You all feel like we're the regular intro here. Maybe it's because it's not really... The true Invincible. Like, this is a different universe, like a different future for a different version of Earth. Yeah, man. Evil Marcus. Chills. Oh! No. We were close. Hey, Eve. You look good. No. So a robot is in two places at once. Well, not anymore. Ooh! What kind of weapon is that? Oh, no, 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 no! Noble effort! Someday, you too will die. Sure. But you should have died at birth. Terrible. Last chance, Eve. Stop this, or I stop you. I'd rather die. Eve, oh. I would never kill you, but I can't let you hurt anyone else. Uh, she's not dead, just paralyzed. Huh, so that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. I don't like it. Yeah, I've got some people who'll take care of her. 
Justice will come for you. For all the families you've torn apart, you will reap Let's what you... Let's do this, Mark. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. What the hell was that? A portal or something? Eh, who cares? Let's finish this off. I'm starving. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> That's one thing about... I'm so sensitive. This, this show, like, really pushes... My sensitivity buttons, man. So the only reason why I watch shows like this is so that I can see the good guys hopefully triumph over the bad guys. Being cruel just does not do it for me. I love Radiohead. Oh, Mark seems kind of aimless. Just kind of going through the motions. <laughs> Did he take that car apart? It's really cool that you can hear the sirens all the way up there. Being able to just glide around like that and just fly. God, that must be so freeing. That's, that's another thing I love about this show is the soundtrack. Soundtrack is really good. The battle, the devastation. For some, the pain will never fade. Crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city that had been so devastating. Oh, poor Debbie. You don't have to go back if you're not ready. <laughs> Neither do you. I think we're both dying to get out of this house. See you later, Mom. You too. Did you? Oh, yeah. I shit portals now. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> See you around, Pete. <laughs> well, Pete, you're standing there holding your <laughs> again. happened here a tragedy don't worry this isn't your world my name is angstrom levy hi angstrom, angstrom. what do you want Nerd! let me guess you can open portals between dimensions but not within the same dimension why do you think that because we're walking and because you needed to find a crater deep enough here to reach us in the gda's underground prison there you two are sharp Working with the two of you is a real ethical and moral stretch for me, but I don't have a choice. What's in it for them? Looked everywhere. Now, I can't force you to help me. I will leave you here forever if you don't, or somewhere worse. I miss when we only work for ourselves. Me too. Oh, Mark. Mark. Uh-oh, here comes Todd. Mark Grayson. I oh, bear hug. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, sorry, your dad got exploded. I don't really want it. That sucks, man. I can't imagine not ever seeing my dad again. And my dad's a dick. And he was like Jack, right? I bet you wish you got those jeans on. I mean, he's trying to be nice, but he's not doing a very good job. Thanks, Todd. Mark appreciates it. Oh, yay! Hey, Amber! Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But are you fine? No. My dad might as well be dead. But I don't get to be sad. I'm the reason all those people in Chicago died. I should be out there, making up for all my mistakes. You didn't kill those people, Mark. Omni-Man did. But I didn't save them. He's you very confused. You stopped your dad and saved the planet. And it almost killed you. You don't owe anyone anything. Yeah, listen to Amber, Mark. I'm not so sure. You need to start calling on me again. You think I haven't been watching your early morning outings? That's why I need you. I need to do more. I'm not my dad. Okay, hun, but you're kind of... You, uh, yeah, you're definitely not ready. Take some time off, kid. I'm not making the same mistake I made with Nolan. There's only one way this kid goes back out there, and that's on a very short leash. Cecil's such an interesting character because I definitely like him, but it's hard to trust him. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you up to, sir? All the damn time. And I want to be president of America. That's not how that works, babe. The giant seems to have the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. <laughs> Explains the astronaut part. I will detonate stress points in the concrete and drop the giant into it. Rex! Blow up Rudy's charges! Come on! Why so Duplicate girl is, uh... She gets body. 
my heart was racing. You had an anxiety so attack, babe. Why are you laughing? That's fear. Before all this was just a video game for you. Now you're here, in person, playing for real. Uh, there's it's still a raging different. monster down there. Recognize this? That's one of our somatic encoders. I based it off your design. It reads, copies, and writes human minds. Mm -hmm. Except mm -hmm. you can't get it working. I bet you can't. The connectome buffers crash out. You'll need twice as many processing units. Mm. What's in it for us? And no more bullshit about stranding us in some other dimension. There's an infinite number of dimensions. And I was born with the ability to access all of them. <laughs> you must have been a fun kid to babysit. Remember that world-changing battle between Omni-Man and Invincible a month ago? In most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. A Prometheus who raises the bar for everyone by sharing what works. I'll help our world first, That's of course. That's the kind of arrogance that'll always get you in trouble, sir. Billions upon trillions of lives. To do this, I need deep knowledge of those other dimensions. Meet the family. And I've gathered ten times more in safe houses scattered across other dimensions. Wow. They don't have my ability, but they have something almost as valuable. Intimate local knowledge of their home dimensions that will help me figure out what they do best. Help me do this and I'll you give you... You can still do that without more, copying their as minds. As long as you promise not to hurt anyone. Ooh. Debbie! <gasps> Olga! <laughs> yeah, the back door was open, so I let myself... A Russian with a knife you like killing Eve. Eve. Which y'all probably wouldn't know anything about, but I definitely do. Because I'm a bisexual oh. bitch and I love the lezies. I love the Moscow. None. It's all for shit. <laughs> Italy. That's where you need to go for pizza. I was there just last year with <sighs> no, no one. one. Yeah. Both our husbands died that night. You can be sad and <laughs> angry at the same time. He almost killed Mark. Said I didn't matter, that I was a pet. 20 years, and I was a <laughs> pet. That's one of the things that I like about this show, is that it doesn't shy away from the actual emotions. It doesn't shy away from the... I'm fine. How this shit affects the human psyche, you know? Because if it was just a bunch of fighting and bullshit, then I wouldn't watch it. But it's stuff like this and how it's affecting Mark and those things that I really like about the show as well. Unprepared, undisciplined. Takedowns take too long, and the public pays the price. Mm, damn. We put our necks on the line every single day. Shut up, Rex. And we've done an analysis of your last 15 engagements and narrowed it down to a failure of leadership. And I'm instituting a change. Ooh. The immortals now in charge. <laughs> nice entrance. Whoa. Was he waiting for his cue? Like. Just over there or something? Hey. Amazing! Ho ho! It's just a whole afternoon of new friends. Bulletproof. <laughs> and that's rich coming from a guy called Rex Splode. You think up that grade school shit yourself? <laughs> or did somebody help you with that? Oh, I, I uh, mm. Came up with it. Got nothing to say. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Hey, stranger. Eve. Hey, Eve. Hmm. Otherwise, life out in the woods is good. Maybe a little lonely, but I don't mind. Sounds nice. So this is where you tell me how you are? I don't know. Okay, I guess. I can't stop thinking. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be my dad. What if that happens? You're not your dad, Mark. The whole world knows that. Cecil doesn't. So prove him wrong. As long as he has that doubt, building in there yet. he's gonna have the possibility. Someone get this kid an earpiece. It doesn't quite have the same ring to it as a shield or a suit, a gun. But, okay, an earpiece. One thousand minds synchronized. One thousand. Good God. One thousand. <laughs> I contain multitude. Mm -hmm. Listen to you, arrogance. Uh, <laughs> spit it out, kid. Okay, there's like a giant mechanical Christmas tree with like a bunch of the same 
guy sitting on it and some portals <laughs> and the maulers and it doesn't matter. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh Maulers! Help your brothers. Ooh, a lady mauler. They were up to, but I'd say you stopped it pretty <laughs> spectacularly. Oh, not creepy at all, Immortal. What the? Fuck? Oh, hey, Immortal. Cecil thinks you're on our side. You know what? I'm not so sure. I don't blame him. I'll be watching you. I don't blame him. Oh, God, it's just a big brain. What did he do to me? You did that to yourself. I ruined everything. <laughs> you need a hospital. <laughs> I need revenge. Hospital first. Then you can make him pay. Finally! Ooh. Anyone else ever? Oh, you lost his brother clone. Others? It came far too quickly. I look out at this class and I see hope. I feel like this guy's modeled after Carl Winslow. If you know, you know. Where's Mark? He's like gonna miss his own graduation. He might, huh? He's just he running might. a little late. You're thieves! Criminals! Dark seismic. <laughs> what Terra is Farmer. it with you and historical monuments? To, uh, Professor Seismic, right? Doc Seismic. I never taught. Do you know what this obscene phallus is constructed from? He asked that bell is... an idiotic answer. Uh. Granite stolen from the earth. Iron ripped from her loins. Isn't that most buildings? You can keep the ones made of wood. Everything else, we're taking back. Wood comes out of the ground. Meet my magma knights. Magma knights? I like you better when you just hated presidents. Magma knights. <laughs> Without testing your limits, you will never know how strong you truly are. Solid. That's solid. Backhand. All oh, right. Time, Seismic. I know. I was wondering how is he gonna deal with that? I have to go under so he can't see. Nice. Hey there, hero. Good timing. Is that silver? Oh man, wait till I tell you about this guy. He's a case against higher education. <laughs> Amber Justine Bennett. Congratulations, graduates. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Be original. Be any different it's graduating high school not losing your virginity to graduation and new beginnings Cecil might need me you're always on call now that's the job here virgin Mai Tai very funny to the best summer ever oh the Martians to save their planet from their own slaves if those sequids ever take over Earth is next. We need to strike first. Sequence. Such a weird again. alien name. You're talking about starting an interplanetary war. 
Livingston. What makes you think I know anything about Martians? Is that how you say it? Martians? I have to visit uh, the urination chamber. Get a grip. You are a smart Earth astronaut. I know things haven't been easy since Mars. No one can blame you for being a little, uh... Uh, not yourself. But it's been months, and quite frankly, Livingston, this is the U.S. Space Administration, not therapy. Please don't kill me. I won't fail you again. I swear on my three-chambered heart. Please do not stab all three of them. Uh, Christ on a Christmas tree. You're taking a temporary leave till you can get your head on straight. <gasps> oh, man, that, he needs to be examined. I live in that building, That's and right. if it was up to the bureaucrats, we'd be sleeping in high school gyms until Labor Day. It's about time someone cut through all the red tape and did something, instead of just talking about it. STAND BACK! Okay, girl! That is so cool! Hey, Mom. Morning. How about we take a little break? I found some crazy deals online. I'm thinking beach trip. Somewhere tropical with a, a fancy vacation, hotel. yeah. Bermuda. I want to, but Cecil told me the guardians are working out some issues, and I don't know if I can take off right now. You're an adult, but that means making your own choices. You don't have to do everything Cecil tells you. Yeah, mom, I kind of do. I understand why you think you have to prove yourself, but you don't. You're a good person. No one thinks you're going to turn out like your father. But then why would you even say it? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Mark, I need you. Thank God. Wait, Mark, wait. He may have come from the stars, mm -hmm. but Martian Man will always be one of Earth's greatest superheroes and always made time to help first responders on the scene. Martian Man made Earth his home. So is he a sequin? Or is he just a Martian? Here's a need to know. We've had multiple corroborated sightings of Darkwing. Which is perturbing me, considering that I personally ID'd what was left of his ribcage last year. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. I don't remember this. Oh! What the hell? Permanent midnight, perpetual wow. darkness, summer on the dark side of the moon. So weird. I was Night Boy, his assistant. Assistant? What, you mean sidekick? We don't use that term. It's degrade. Okay, bring him in. He's lost it. You think? You hear them too? Huh? The voices. Hey, you're coming with me. I'm not going anywhere with the son of a psychopath. <laughs> Ow! I felt that. My predecessor developed this exoskeleton to help even the field against those like you. I said I felt that punch. I didn't say it hurt. <sighs> Oh, now he's in the second place. Welcome to the Shadowverse. Shadowverse, same thing. Even I don't dare to stay too long. But I hope you like it. Because you are never leaving. I'm saving the world from Omni Man's son. Got a little too close. Hey, don't call me that. Let go! Guess who they'll eat first? You would never. I'm Omni Man's son. You have no idea what I'm capable of. <gasps> there. Now let go of. <gasps> Mark, we lost you for a minute. Where were you? You'll have to ask Darkwing's sidekick when he regains consciousness. I gotta sign off. Something just came up. Anything I can do? I doubt it. Mark almost she can't talk to her son, so now she come up to for you, Cecil. One of those. He's barely eighteen. Mm -hmm. You can't just order him around. Well, at least he follows orders. That's what this is about, isn't it? That you're in control, not him. That he's not like his father. And what if you decide you can't trust him? What then? Sir, the Mars file you requested. Ain't this mother <laughs> dead? Donald? Debbie, she was just leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something funny's going on with Donald because he's told supposed to be dead.
Ooh, Germanic. Where is this? You're late. For what? Turns out the Atlanteans are sore about Omni Man murdering their king Aquarius. Since your dad vanished like a fart in a hurricane, <laughs> Atlantean law dictates that his sentence falls to his next of kin. That's a stupid law. Maybe. But Atlantis controls the oceans. They threaten to erase the eastern seaboard if we don't deal with this. You want me to go to war against an entire underwater civilization? Who said anything about war? According to Atlantean custom, the only way to atone for the king's murder is to marry his widow. What? I can't marry a fish. I have a girlfriend. Relax. Strictly symbolic. They do not look happy. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I got another fire to put out. Who's gonna leave him? There, I'll be listening. Welcome, son of he who slayed my husband. About that, you will address her as your majesty. A breather. Right, your majesty. I'm very sorry for what my father did. Okay, I guess it's kind of awkward, but I have a girlfriend. What do you speak of? Isn't that why I'm here? To be your new king? <laughs> why would I need a king? I commanded this kingdom for a decade while Aquarius played dress up with you humans. We abolish that barbaric custom. What do you think we are, savages? Well, then what's gonna happen instead? Because I'm scared. So what's a new law? Trial by combat. Release the Dark Dweller! They're getting the hell out of that shit. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. <sighs> Can I go now? No. No, you cannot. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. He getting his ass kicked. This wasn't the deal. Huh. I'm pulling you out. Back up some way. Talk to me, kid. That Sonic shit is nothing to with. How far away is that backup? Incoming. I don't think that's gonna do anything. about that before they brought it home from the store. I can't leave those people to die. <laughs> okay, now we can do this. Ooh. How the f did he get out of that? Pull up the audio from that fight. <laughs> Give it to the boys in r and I want to report in a week. Yes, sir. Damn cat. <laughs> Don't slam your fingers! Gary, you need to take like a kickboxing class or something. And over here is our training room. Look at all those like they just brought him back. Those like, things. Like nothing. Ooh, why don't you show him the shower, immortal? <laughs> it's super roomy. Forgive me for questioning your authority, immortal. But we don't know anything about the Shapesmith. He's right. He's you, right. I was born a baby human right here on the planet of Earth. Right. So is he... I got my superpowers in a random industrial A Sequid or is he a Martian? I guess he's a Sequid. Am I in? Yes. No. They were defeated. <laughs> yes. It was my... Plan. But we are not <laughs> a joke. No matter what social media says, we will rise again any day now. 
Oh, was King Lizard a- oh, sorry. Rest in peace to you. To he was a kid! To be King Lizard. In the Adam Eve thing. Okay. I think. Pentagon, what's going on? Why should I tell you anything? Oh, this is another dimension. That big ass brain! Given your current predicament? Fine. After our ultimatum, they ambushed my dad with experimental quantum bombs. Then they just wore me down. Brought me when I finally had to sleep. Freeze! Who the hell are you? I love that this is gender bent Cecil and um I'm not your problem. Douglas or whatever his name is. Whose problem are you? His. Well not his, but close enough. Make him pay for what he did to your world. What? Hey, you promised you'd help me. Hey! Hey! I'm really happy to be back in this world. I'm going to give this episode an 8.5. Not quite as impactful as uh, season one, but still pretty good. Let's talk about it. Well, well, well. Okay, so that was episodes one and two of Invincible season two. I remember season one and that first episode, like especially the end, like I had no idea what Invincible was. I had never read the comic book. Um, you know, I knew who Robert Kirkman was because I was a Walking Dead fan, but I had never interacted with Invincible before. So that first episode of season one Woo! I mean, they eased you into it. You're thinking you're watching this cool, fun, you know, modern take on uh, superheroes. I love Steven Young, so, you know, it was great. And I love J.K. Simmons and, you know, Seth Rogen and all those guys. But, like, uh, it just really hit me, that first episode. And the second episode, like, just, you know, what are we going to do? How what, What's, what's going to happen? You know, this guy turned out to be evil and the demon was investigating. And, you know, it was, it was so juicy. So comparing these first two episodes to those i wasn't quite as like oh you know the guy angstrom is i think a really good villain in that i can empathize or sympathize with him a little bit um but then he just didn't give me that I just didn't get that impact that I got from episode one, if that makes, uh, from season one, if that makes any sense. So comparing these first two episodes to season one's first two episodes, I was just a little bit disappointed. I'm still engaged and I still really enjoy these characters and I love the dynamics between Mark and his mom and Mark and his friends and you know of course Adam Eve is my girl and of course I'm happy to see Amber back and I'm happy to see a relatively healthy um, young couple just enjoying their time him being a superhero who makes time for his girlfriend and her being a girlfriend who understands and, and makes an effort to understand what he has to go through and what he's been through which is the way I think that it could have always been if he you know if he weren't lying her. He stopped lying to her and look what happened. Hmm. Things got better. You'll never make me hate Amber. You just, you, you're not going to make me do it. So those were the first two episodes and we're going to keep on trucking. I know Omni-Man's going to be back. I mean, it's kind of, yeah, of course he's coming back. He's a really popular character. The gore and the cruelty I can do without, but because of all the other stuff, like the voice cast, the acting, and the dramatic dynamics between the characters, I love this show. So let's keep going with more Invincible. Um, if you like what you see, like the video. Please subscribe for more Invincible reactions. Sometimes I have to film like super early in the morning and then the traffic is like a <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.